last story in this volume is the brutal burning of David Rothenberg. He and his parents had a custody fight going on. And when his father, Charles Rothenberg, believed that the his wife, Marie Rothenberg, was not going to let him visit David anymore or um, see him anymore, he decided that they would both die. He selected a particularly painful, grotesque way to kill for them to kill themselves by fire. And Charles Rothenberg actually um, poured kerosene around his sleeping son's bed, lit it on fire, and of course when the fire started, he automatically took off. So only his son was burned. Only the six-year-old child was burned over 90% of his body. He was disfigured and disabled for life. And that was, um, I kind of ended this book, The Bloodied and the Broken, with that story because it was a very heartbreaking story. Uh, however, of course, David Rothenberg did survive. As an adult, he became a successful abstract artist. And he said that he was a normal person. Although he was obviously disfigured and disabled, he got enough love from his um, mother, Marie, and from his stepfather that he said he was not psychologically messed up. Now, he did die at 42, and his being a burn victim may have contributed to dying relatively young. But... Um, this is a story that was a terrible story, but it was also a story of survival. So in that sense, I ended The Bloodied and the Broken on a hopeful note because I ended it with a story of somebody who survived one of the most horrible crimes imaginable. Hope you enjoyed hearing that.